Hello, this is Pamela, and you are on Pamela's Adoring Crochet. I'd like to say welcome to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, my channel is mostly all about crochet. Um, grab you something to drink, uh, grab you something to eat. I am drinking French vanilla coffee out of my blessed coffee cup that I love so much. Mm, that is so good. Um, okay, so today's video is, um, I just want to show off a new book that I have received and uh, talk about a crochet along giveaway. Isn't that exciting? Okay, so I'll start off um, the book that I received. I'm so excited about it. Um, first, this is book one. You've seen the Pickapoo. You've seen me make plenty of things out of this book. And the newest book that I had gotten, and I made, um, let's see, I made the B right here out of book two. <laughs> you guys know I love this B. Uh, let's see. And I've made, let's see, where'd he go? Oh, <laughs> he fell on me <laughs> right here. My little sloth that I love. And I think the sloth may have been out of book one. I'm thinking, I can't remember now, but anyway, I, my daughter has surprised me with book three. So let's take a look at that. Okay guys. So here is book three. Yes. Finally, book three is out. And of course, you know, I want to make this right here first. So let's go ahead and see what kind of patterns they have in here. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Aren't they adorable? Do you see the snail up there at the top? A giraffe? I mean, guys, this book is awesome. I think this book may be my favorite out of all three of them. She just outdid herself. Look at that. And look at the ears on that little mouse down there. I mean, yeah. It's just awesome. His little weenie dog. Yeah. So I am super excited. Thank you so much, Jennifer, for surprising your mama with this. I love it. And of course, I know there's some hidden agendas in there for my grandbabies, of course. Um, like I said, one of the first things I'm going to make are the um, the bunny rabbits, for sure. Um, but I really want this squirrel as well. I mean, look at the squirrel. How cute is that? <laughs> okay. Um, anyways, I'll leave the link below for all three of these books if you're interested. And look how big, how thick that is. Look at that. It's a pretty thick book. It says, gather all 20 quirky Amigurumi characters. And yes, Look at my bee. Quirky. That's why I love him so much. He's just quirky. Um, Yan, Y-A-N-S-C-H-E-N-K-E-L. I guess that's the author right there. Okay. So, let's see. What do I have? I haven't seen the Shamrock outfit. I just thought I'd show it real quick. This is in my Etsy shop. And for all of you that have been purchasing it, over the weekend and stuff. I just want to say thank you so much for that. I appreciate that. Okay, and I do have another pattern coming up, and it's going to be a little Valentine outfit. I've already got it all drawn up. Just got to make it. Okay, so I'll tell you what. Let me go ahead and tell you a little bit about the Valentine crochet along that um, I am doing, along with my sister Tanya is helping me put it this together. So basically, you, you're going to make a basket. You know, you guys have been making the baskets for my tutorials, and I thank you guys so much for that. Whoo, do I thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. Well, um, Tanya talked to me, and we decided to do a Valentine one, where you make a red, white, pink, and gray, use those four color combinations, and make a basket, and put some hearts around it. So, um, if you don't know how to make the heart, um, I'm probably going to go ahead and show you how to make the hearts. They're very easy. And if you want hearts around it, you can. If you don't, you don't, you don't have to. But it needs to be a Valentine basket. So there will be a winner that's going to win, um, some red, white, and pink, two skeins of each, yarn. <laughs> how awesome is that? And if you live overseas, there will be a gift card, um, 
a digital gift card sent to you guys so that everyone can be included in this giveaway. Um, the crochet along will end on February the 14th. That's a Tuesday. That morning when I do my video, I will announce the winner. I will put everyone's name in um, the the wheel, a <laughs> top thing that they have um, on, I think it's a, like the YouTube random comment picker. It's kind of like that, but, um, but it's done in a wheel style and your names are on there. So anyway, so all you gotta do is make a Valentine basket in those colors one color, two color, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be all four colors, but just in those colors, um, color choices, I guess I could say. And let's see, you need to post on the Facebook group page. Um, you can email me if you don't have Facebook. And I would really appreciate it if um, everyone is okay with me doing a slideshow of your Valentine baskets. I think that would be so fun. And I could do the basket update like not just have one big slideshow after everyone's done. I would really like to do a slide, not a slideshow, but just incorporate them in my videos, your uh, pictures of your baskets as you're working them to give others inspiration of how they would want to do their Valentine basket. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Let me show you right here. This is what Tanya's been working on, her basket, and she's been making the hearts. I FaceTimed her and taught her how to make the heart. Um, to go on it. So she's going to have those. Um, I'm not really sure where she's going to place the hearts yet, but um, she's got them made. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I've got going on. I hope you guys uh, participate in this Valentine crochet along. Um, you, if you post on Facebook or uh, Instagram or something, I would rather take the photos from Facebook because Instagram, I'm not really sure how to download the photo and I can't really put them in my videos. But uh, put hashtag Valentine C-A-L is all you got to do. Um, it's that simple. <laughs> and just post it in my Facebook group page or email it to me. So anyway, um, that's all that I have. Let's go ahead and do our be still and know. Clothe in grace. You were taught with regard to your former way of life to put off your old self, which is being corrupted by its deceitful desires, to be made new in the attitude of your minds. Ephesians 4, 22 and 23. Fashion comes and goes with every new season. If you don't follow it closely, you could be wearing last year's wardrobe before you realize that you are totally out of date. You may not care much about fashion, but living in the past can indicate a lack of acceptance of the present. Such is the illustration with our salvation. When we accepted Christ as our Savior, we accepted a new life, one that is free from the power of sin and one that began our spiritual eternal life. If you feel like you have been caught wearing sin like an ugly old garment, take it off. Instead, clothe yourself with an attitude of forgiveness and the freedom that was given to you through Jesus. Jesus, forgive me for going back to some of my old sinful habits. Thank you that you have given me a new life that allows me to have freedom from my sinful nature. Give me an attitude that willingly throws off my old life so I can live by your grace. Okay, guys, wasn't that just beautiful? I love that, and I'm so glad that you guys enjoy that as much as I do. And don't forget, uh, if you want your daily word, I am doing the uh, daily Bible devotional shorts on YouTube here. So they are one minute or under. <laughs> I have to talk a little fast sometimes on them. So if, if I'm talking too fast on the shorts, um, I think you can change the speed maybe and slow me down a little bit. But I've got to get it all in in less than a minute. 59.9 <laughs> is all I've got. <laughs> uh, you do a minute and I think it takes you over and boom, you're out. <laughs> So, um, yeah, um, just be sure and watch those if you want your daily word. And let's see, what else do I have real quick? Um, don't forget about the crochet along. Um, and the faster you get, in, get, get them made and get it in, it gives other people inspiration on how they would like to do their basket. Um, that ends February the 14th. Uh, what else do I have? Oh, and I have a few Hobie projects coming up, so be sure and look for those. Um, one of my patterns is going to be on the Hobie website, and I'm looking forward to that. Uh, thank you, Hobie, for um, allowing me to be able to do this, and I appreciate that. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all that I have for today's video. Just be sure to live life and to have fun, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.